Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and we're gonna start this project off with these little jello molds. I took two of them outside and painted one orange and one an antique white. And then I'm gonna bring these inside once they were dry, and I'm going to sand off some of that paint. So right now I'm working on the orange one, and I'm just gonna sand off some of the paint around the edges so that this looks really rustic, because we are making some primitive pumpkins out of these. And I'm just gonna sand in between all the little ridges and I'm just using my micro sander and it makes the process just go really fast. Doesn't have to be perfect. Once I had that all sanded, I'm going to take some antique wax and I'm using my ink applicator and I'm just going to add the wax around the whole pumpkin. And I'm just kind of blotting it on because this is metal so it's hard to um, wipe it on. So you just kind of blot it on. I'm gonna go around the whole pumpkin, making sure I get inside those ridges and around the edges and on the top. I just really want this to be covered well. Once you get it to look the way that you want, you can use a heat gun to dry it or you can let it dry on its own. I'm gonna use a heat gun for the purpose of the video to kind of make it go faster. And then I'm gonna set it aside while I work on the next part. So I'm going to take this little round tag that I had. It has the metal trim. I'm going to take off the little keychain hanger that's on it. And then I'm going to go around the edge of the metal with some Mod Podge, making sure that I cover up all the metal because you don't want to see that shiny metal. And then I'm just going to add some cinnamon around the tag, making sure that I cover up all that Mod Podge and kind of bang it off. Add some more Mod Podge where needed, more cinnamon. And then once I have it covered, I'm gonna go around it again with some more Mod Podge and then add some cinnamon on top of that. I really wanna make sure that you can't see the silver edge of the tag. Just go around again and again, just adding more cinnamon till it's all covered. And here it is all finished. And again, I'm just gonna take my heat gun and let that dry. So once everything was dry, I'm gonna take one of these little wooden stems from Dollar Tree, or you can pick one right out of your yard. I'm gonna glue that to the top of the pumpkin. And then I'm going to take some Spanish moss and I'm gonna hot glue that around the edge of the stem. So I'm just gonna go around with some glue and then add my Spanish moss. And Spanish moss is wonky and it kind of has a mind of its own. So you have to kind of glue some other spots to make sure that it's staying where you want it. And as you can see, it's a total mess. So we're gonna give it a little bit of a haircut and trim off all those wiry pieces. But I left some of it kind of wiry because I do like that look of Spanish moss. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not supposed to be. So again, just kind of arranging it so that it is even around the whole top of the pumpkin. adding some more glue where necessary. It's like I said, this stuff is just, it's wiry. And I bought some Spanish moss at, I wanna say Hobby Lobby, and I wasn't really impressed with it. So once I had that all on, I'm going to take a black felt marker, or you can just use a black permanent marker, and I'm just gonna write the word fall on my tag. Doesn't have to be perfect, this is primitive. This is the fact why I love primitive so much is that nothing has to be perfect. I'm gonna take my fabric strip that I had, and it's just a plaid fabric strip and I'm just gonna tie that at the top of the tag and I just ran it through the loop on the tag and then cut off the excess. And then I'm gonna hot glue that right to the front. But first I'm going to add some Sweet Annie. So I'm just gonna cut a bunch of my Sweet Annie and I'm gonna hot glue that right to the front in front of the stem. And then once I had that on, I'm gonna glue the tag right in front of that. I'm just making sure that's stuck before I do this next part. I'm gonna take that tag and glue it right there. And I think this is just turning out so cute already. I love it. Cut off my little extra strings that I had. And look at how cute it is. And for my final touch, I'm going to take a rusty safety pin and bell. And I'm gonna put the bell on it and then I am just gonna run that through that knot that I put in the fabric that I ran through the tag. 
and I think this turned out so super cute. I absolutely love it. I did one in orange, and then I did the white one, just not on camera, and I used just used a different color fabric, and these turned out so stinking cute. I absolutely love them. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it inspires you to make one, and as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.